I don't like the stereotype. A stereotype is when you say, this group is this way, implying that all individuals in that group are also that way. But we know sometimes when you sweep up everyone into a group, you know, you know, they people aren't always talking about literally every member of it, right? That's why I don't take offense when people make jokes about men or about white people, something like that. They might not actually be talking about me, but I should at least listen because maybe they are. Maybe while I'm an individual with my own agency, I'm still strongly influenced by my environment. So whatever my intentions are, there's still something to criticize about me. So when people say, all cops are bastards, I would disagree, right? Surely some cops make the others look bad, right? And don't represent the rest. Well, no. All cops are bastards, and I'm going to explain why. I'm Chris, and this is what had to be said. This video was brought to you by Dung Mobile. Sign up with Dung today and tell them Chris sent you. That way I'll get paid. But you'll still have to pay full price. It's what Dung would have wanted. The most predictable objection to saying a cab is to bring up individual examples. They have fathers and mothers and friends who are cops. They're nice guys, right? They only do the good guy parts of policing. What people don't get about cops is their intentions don't matter. You could be the nicest guy in the world and have a strong conscience and believe in solving social problems. Well, then you're in the wrong profession. Because policing is about violence. Policing is using state violence, or the credible threat of violence, to stop anything that would disturb the interests of the people who control the state. And in case this too had to be said, that's not you and me. Intentions take a back seat to the demands of the system. That's how all jobs work. Employers know we need the job to survive, so we're forced to follow every rule and every order out of fear we'll get fired. Police still have to do what people farther up the hierarchy expect of them. So like in all workplaces, the system is what guides and limits employees' behavior. The real question is, does the system the police work for exist to protect us? And the answer is no. Protecting civilians might be the stated purpose of the police, but you'll never understand anything if you don't get past its stated purpose. You'd need to understand the system they work for and the incentives it creates. I talk a lot about the state on this channel, and it's a big topic, so if you want a primer, you could try this video. But think of it as the government and all its institutions, like the law and law enforcement. The state exists to design and impose the social hierarchy. If protecting you is part of that, the police will do it. So if you're relatively rich and influential, they'll protect you with a smile. In fact, if you really want police protection, Become a bank. Banks get far better protection than civilians. But most of us aren't rich and hardly any of us are banks. The state considers us its subjects, which is to say the state is our master. It puts out assurances that this is not our relationship, like documents listing your rights and freedoms and it promises to follow and uphold them, but being inherently unaccountable, the state doesn't have to do what it says. What are you going to do? Shop elsewhere for your oppression? 
looking at what the state does, which I do in all my videos, and looking at what the police do especially, is a good way to disprove the idea that the system exists to defend rights. For one thing, the state gives police complete power over your body. That means they can accost you, search you, stop you from entering public space, possibly to silence you, and demand your compliance with every order. They'll tie your hands together, force you into a cage, and use whatever violence they decide is necessary if you resist. And as we know from hundreds or even thousands of civilians shot every year by police in the U.S., they have extremely low standards for resisting. We can have camera footage of you with your hands up or complying with the cop's orders, as we do of Philando Castile and Daniel Shaver and Charlie Kinsey, and you still might apparently need to be shot dead. The system, of course, attracts the kind of people who want the power to use violence on whomever they want with impunity, so it's not a question of weeding out the bad ones. No one should have that power in the first place. Yet, many people consider virtually any police violence legitimate, because the only thing that matters is enforcing the law. It doesn't matter how arbitrary the laws are, or how much their enforcement harms people. I was taught to believe the rule of law was paramount, and the state was right to monopolize it. Just politicians should make laws, just courts should interpret them, prisons were where you put the bad people, and it was right to give the police a monopoly on violence. It kind of simplifies everything, doesn't it? The state gets all the power and we just do whatever it says. Any violence they use is good, any we use is bad. And that's how most people I know think. But why would we think this is the right system? Why does one group, the state, get to make and enforce all the laws? Why do people who are unaccountable to you like police and judges, have the power to decide what happens to your body. Are they much wiser or more selfless than you and I? Would things fall apart if people had more say in the laws imposed on them? Would millions of people have gone to prison for the best years of their lives for victimless pursuits like selling drugs or crossing invisible lines? Would frisking and handcuffs and prisons and other standard procedures still be the norm? Or would we stress trust and reconciliation? What policing means in practice is we live under the thumbs of people with authority just because they have authority. We live in fear of getting caught for violating laws that are in no one's interests but authorities. We follow every police order, whatever we're doing, or else we risk getting beaten, imprisoned, or even killed. This is not freedom. This is domination. A master-slave relationship. In fact, considering how many people are forced to work for peanuts in the prison system, the slavery is not metaphorical. Not everyone lives in fear, of course. If you have money or you're white, you have better chances of surviving a police encounter. In fact, you may never even see the police until you go downtown. Policing disproportionately targets brown people, along with other poor workers and, of course, the unhoused, whoever the bullies can get away with bullying. They could find crime in the rich neighborhoods, but that's not where they go to find prison fodder. Being the core of the state system, police reinforce the white supremacy, patriarchy, and ableism the system is founded on. If you actually feel protected and served 
by the police, you're in a very small minority of people around the world who can say that. As the dominant institution of force in society, the state has enough money to pay its employees better than the average worker in order to secure their loyalty. But another benefit of working for the state is you can commit what would be crimes for civilians, but remain protected, because the state only rarely prosecutes its agents, and then only for the purpose of scapegoating. New people in the same seats would change nothing. The system isn't broken. It's designed this way. The whole system needs to go. Hey Patriots, I'm Evil Chris from WI Had to BS Radio. These liberals really think they could survive if there were no police. What are you gonna do when someone robs you? Call the fire department? <laughs> Alright, that was my smackdown of this video. Send me money. Evil Chris, you don't realize you don't need a centralized, unaccountable force to be safe. You don't need to depend on people who may or may not protect you when you need it and may or may not hurt you when they feel like it. You just need other concerned people. Mutual aid doesn't have any of the inherent flaws of policing. If there are problems in your neighborhood, the police might not help you solve them, so you can do it yourself with anyone who wants to help. If there are disputes that seem irreconcilable, become a mediator. If there are roads that need paving, anyone who knows how can do it. If people need help taking care of a baby, there are probably dozens of local parents who can help out. If people are getting evicted, you can stand with them in solidarity and refuse to let them get kicked out of their homes. All these things are mutual aid as is mutual protection. If you're at risk of getting attacked, well, where did your community go? We should all be in arrangements to come to each other's assistance and care for each other, including defense from violence if necessary. Maybe the problem is one couple in your neighborhood is fighting, maybe even abusing each other. So let's have a local team of people who can intervene in such a situation, and a place you can stay if you don't feel safe at home. No one necessarily needs to be shot or thrown into a cage for 20 years. Maybe the problem is bigger, like a gang who want to terrorize you. If the community is so organized that it can show up at a moment's notice and stand together, the gang would be effectively powerless to hurt you. And obviously, we can and should organize across communities, especially if there are big roving gangs. We should be able to call on people we trust, instead of just calling the police for every problem and hoping they solve it in the way we want them to. So it doesn't have to be like this. Let's go back to the question implied in the title of this video. Are all cops bad? Well, are there any cops who refuse to enforce the shitty laws? Are there any cops who refuse to assist with evictions or arrests for petty theft or drug prohibition? Are there any cops who won't attack protesters when ordered to? Are there cops who call out members of their departments for doing something illegal or unethical? If so, how long do they last on the force? So as long as there's still cops doing cop things, they're still bastards. But bastards is such a vague word. You could say all cops are hypocrites. After all, they break the law too, but they don't arrest themselves or each other. They tell you to follow the law and threaten you with violence if you don't. But they would never accept you applying the law to them and arresting them for violating it. Because all cops are hypocrites. All cops are violent, since their jobs rely on a constant, implicit threat of violence, and they will use force against you if they have a reason. 
all cops are kidnappers. Though when the police do it, we call kidnapping lawful arrest. All cops are liars. They have to be, to follow the propaganda line and continually try to persuade us they're necessary and work for the people and defend your rights. Any talk about the system can be deflected by saying, oh, there are bad apples, rather than saying those apples aren't just inevitable products of a system of violence. You could also say all cops are class traitors, since they are the group of workers that exist to oppress the other workers. All cops will break up strikes and protests if they're ordered to. And if you only work in a support role for kidnapping, beating, and killing, you're a cop too. Are all cops bigots? No. They just use violence to implement a system that operates on bigotry and disseminates it through propaganda and laws and common police practice. Are all cops fascists? No. Not all of them. Are all cops murderers? No, just some of them. And the rest protect them through loyalty to the thin blue line. But Maybe I'm being too harsh. Maybe 99% of cops tend to make the other 1% look bad. So, do we need cops? No. Are there ways to do the things cops say they do, but without the constant threat of violence? Yes. And we should probably start organizing now, before your community is the next victim. Thanks for listening, folks. Here are a few of the videos that I really wanted to make. 